Hey, welcome to the Phil Taylor Jones Show. You're there. I'm here. Let's go. You know, I, I was just uh, talking it over with my brother, and uh, I, I just had to come on quickly put this out there. Uh, these people, and when I say these people, I mainly mean politicians and, you know, governmental muckety-mucks. They're so busy tripping over themselves. It's a wonder there is there's not a dog pile of them. They're so stupid. A couple of weeks ago, you had Mr. Um, uh, Leonardo DiCaprio and they're talking about we got to do something about global warming and how it's affecting the earth and you know it's it's melting the polar caps and yada 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 okay now they're talking about the effects of global cooling oceans the oceans and they're 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 rising or you know uh, or drying up too quickly these people are so stupid here in California, our esteemed governor, Jerry Brown, he signed into law now where there are no plastic bags to be found anywhere in the stores except for the reusable ones that are now cluttering the streets too. How brilliant is that? And California is at the forefront and we really need to push this issue about cleaning up our planet and, and being safe and, and yada, yada, yada. Oh, just a bunch of gas bags. Okay, here, here it is. When the plastic bags were first developed and implemented, it was for the protection of the planet. We were cutting down trees, making paper bags. That was bad for the environment. It was bad for the rainforest. It was bad for the ecosystem. So that's why they came up with the plastic bags. I would venture a guess that now they're going back to using paper bags. Well, of course, you got to you have your recyclable bags too, made out of some kind of uh, fabric or burlap or what have you. But a lot of it is made from cutting down trees, as is the paper bag. Okay, pretty soon they're going to be right back to plastic bags because there's a nasty little thing about history it always repeats itself and you know like i said they're just tripping over each other they're just stumbling over each other trying to come up with ways to to you know make things better uh, i have to jump on this bandwagon once again you look at some of the stuff and the trends that have been going on in this country say in the past 20 to 30 years when I grew up as a kid, and you know, I'm, I'm 56 years old, so it's not like I grew up about 493 years ago. Uh, we brought bags home from the grocery store. Uh, we brought paper bags home from the grocery store. We bought plastic bags home from the grocery store. And we never had a problem with litter and, 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 and crap all over the streets until these foreigners started coming over here from these, warped, these, these third world countries or these countries where they don't give a crap about anything they just as soon go to the bathroom defecate and throw the paper in the in the waste paper basket in the flush it down the toilet this is what i'm talking about and they bring those customs over here and screw up our lifestyle then our dumbass politicians go and come up with this whole crazy grandiose system to further screw up our lives Again, if you kept those people in their own damn country, in their own damn borders, then they can throw paper in the streets. They can throw bags in the streets. That's their problem. But you bring them over here and they screw up our system and our way of life. And then you want to handcuff us. It's ridiculous. All this graffiti and crap all over the walls, scratching on the on the windows, on the on the public transportation and, 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 and spray painting on trees and all of this crap. Again, when I was a kid, there was a such thing as graffiti, but not to the magnitude it is today. Again, they're bringing that crap over here, and it's really, you know, it's gotten crazy. But just think about it. Years and years ago, about 20, 30 years ago, they wanted to develop the plastic bag and subsequently implement it into the stores to save our trees. And now, because they're flying around, they're clogging up the waterways, they're clogging up the, the drainage systems, the sewage systems. Now we're back on that wood again. And as soon as they figure, well, it's messing up our ecosystem, it's messing up our rainforest, we're cutting down too many trees, we're going back to plastic bags. You heard it here. 
Everything old is new again, and history always repeats itself. And with stupid politicians, that probably happens more than you'd like to even think about. Okay, how are you folks doing out there with your iPhones? Are you being careful with them? I hope you are. Because it's still a problem that's not going away. And the Apple Corporation, I don't know about those people because they're trying to downplay it, that it's really not a problem. But uh, I, I honestly don't think that this is going to go away. I think they're going to either have to come up with um, a better build quality, make the phone a little bit thicker. I mean, everybody's so worried about obesity. So I guess they're worried about phone hood obesity. How's that one, Chris? <laughs> phone hood obesity. Yeah, they claim well, t-shirts, you know, protect yourself from phone hood obesity. Mm -hmm. Buy a thin iPhone, but be careful with it because it'll be. Anyway, um, you folks out there with your little iPhone 6s and your big iPhone 6s, if you got the plus, be careful because you don't want your multi-hundred dollar investment to fold like a house of cards. Be careful. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, uh, whatever else breaks, we will bring it to you as soon as humanly possible. And uh, for you, all you guys out there who've been supporting me and, and viewing the videos, thank you so much. As usual, I do appreciate it. And um, if you're not a member yet and would like to um, uh, become one, you know what to do. And in this crazy, crazy, crazy mixed up world we live in, do your best to take care and stay happy. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.